Hello everyone, welcome to another CSS tutorial. This is actually part two of a short series on CSS drop-down navigation menus. Uh, in the first video, we took a look at the HTML structure and the CSS needed to create a simple drop-down menu uh, that you see right here. In this second video, we're going to learn how to add stylistic details, so background colors and borders. Uh, basically just give it a bit of polish so it looks like a finished product. And we're also going to take a look at how to add a simple JavaScript file so that this functionality will work in older versions of Internet Explorer. So those are our goals. Let's hop right in. Let's begin by adding a bit of background colors and borders and just overall style to the navigation. So we'll hop over to our style sheet. Uh, let's start by styling these top level links. So that is uh, related to this rule. Let's get rid of the underline. So text decoration, none. How about instead of blue, uh, we'll make them a gray. So color, go with the dark gray. Uh, let's also give them a background color. This will be a, oops, this will be a light gray. So if we refresh, uh, it looks better, but we would probably want our navigation bar to go this full width. So uh, as far as the background color is concerned, so we can apply background color to our top level unordered list and we'll give it the same uh, EB value. So we see that that didn't do anything. And this is a good example of uh, when you need to clear your floats. So these list items are floated and they're the children of this unordered list. So in order for the unordered list to be aware of them, we need to apply the clear fix to this unordered list. So if we hop over to our HTML, I'm just going to add a class of clear fix to this top level unordered list. And now if we refresh, uh, we see that the background color uh, fills the full width of the browser window. And that's because we have this clear fix rule down at the very bottom of our style sheet. And I will go ahead and include a link to this uh, so you can copy and paste this into your style sheet. Uh, but I digress, let's get back to styling our navigation. So now that our unordered list is receiving the background color and is reaching the full width of the browser window, we can actually go ahead and remove the background color from the links themselves. This was really just to illustrate the point of clearing your floats. So if we refresh, we see that nothing changes. Great. I think our next step should be to add a bit of borders to these items. So we'll target the links and we will create a new decoration border right, two pixels solid, and we'll go with a darker gray. So we see that the border has been added. I'm gonna show you a neat little trick. It's not even a trick, but we probably wouldn't want uh, a border on the last link. Sometimes that looks a bit odd. So if we hop over to our HTML and we see that videos is the last link, so we, we find that in our HTML, and we give this list item a class of last and then we go back to our CSS and we create a new rule targeting that last uh, list item so div nav unordered list we want list items with a class of last and we want to target the link inside of that and we just say border right none okay so we've removed that border uh, a lot of times uh, this is the style that you're going to want to go with but it's really up to you so moving on Let's add, well, actually right now, let's go ahead and show you the power of descendant selectors. So we see that when we hover over this, these drop-down links are also receiving the border right that we added to the top level links. So let's go ahead and remove that from those links. So we'll create a new rule, and we're basically going to target the second level links. So div nav unordered list list item, and then to drill down to the second layer, we want the unordered list and list item uh, inside of the, the main unordered list. And then we're going to target the hyperlink and we'll say border right none. So if we refresh, uh, we see that the border is gone. Now let's focus on adding a hover effect so that when we hover over a link, its background color turns to white. So we will create a new rule div nav unordered list list item hyperlink hover background color white 
Okay, so that's simple enough. Um, but let's go the extra mile. As far as this drop-down functionality works, wouldn't it be nice if when we're hovering over one of these children links, if the top level link, uh, if its background color remained white while we were on uh, one of these children links? So we'll essentially just tack on another selector to this rule and we'll say div nav unordered list. When the list item is being hovered, any part of it, including its children links, then make uh, the hyperlink have a background of white. So if we refresh, we see that we move down here and the about link is uh, remaining, is uh, keeping its white background. However, these children links are now all white because essentially this rule is targeting all links. So we need to create a second rule now telling the second level links to remain gray when we're hovering over the top level. I know this is getting confusing um, rather quickly as well, but let's just create the rule and I think it will make sense. So div nav, we're basically saying when the list item is hovered, then we want second level hyperlinks to uh, have a background color of, I believe it's EB. Okay, so now we see that when we hover over this and we move down to the children links, the about keeps its white background, uh, but now we see that these aren't receiving the hover effect of white even though we're hovering them. So we'll basically tack on a new rule, div nav, list item hover. So this rule is basically um, being added on to this rule. We just added the hover pseudo selector, otherwise it's the exact same selector as this, and we're just telling it to have a background color of white. So now when we refresh, we see that we have the exact functionality that we wanted. Um, the parent link remains white when we were hovering over its children. While there are additional styles we could add, I think we're going to call it good for now in that regard, and we're actually going to spend the remainder of this video making sure that our drop-down navigation works in older versions of Internet Explorer. I know that Internet Explorer 7 and 6 are a dying breed, but a lot of people still need support for them if they're working in the government sector or certain education sectors. So we're going to make sure that our drop-downs work. So, it begins by adding a JavaScript file, a call to a JavaScript file, and I don't have time to go over this, this JavaScript file, what it's actually doing, but I'll summarize it by saying that it's basically adding a class of SF hover um, in place of the hover pseudo selector. Older versions of IE only support these, the hover pseudo selector in relation to hyperlinks, and we were actually using uh, the hover pseudo selector on our list items to enable our entire drop down functionality. So basically, what we need to do now is go through our, now that we've attached that JavaScript file, is go through our style sheet and anywhere that we have used a hover on the list item, we're basically just going to duplicate the selector and add a class of SF hover instead of the hover pseudo selector. So we scroll down, we see that we also used, uh, I think we, let's see. We used it here. Oops. And we used it here. And we also used it here. Okay, so that takes care of IE not understanding uh, the hover pseudo selector on the list items. There's one other CSS fix we're going to paste in here. Uh, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it makes Internet Explorer happy. Okay, so. That's all we have time for in this video. I will be posting download links so you can take a look at the source code yourself, play around with it, maybe add a few different styles to your liking. Uh, I hope you feel like you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.